Hello and welcome to the preparation phase practical videos of the Security Incident Response course. In this video, we will review a tool part of the SIS internal suite. This tool is called Access Check and it's used for checking the type of access to different operating system components. First of all, let's start with getting the tool. I already have it on my machine, but of course, I will show you how to find it. You can of course use Google and search for the tool or for the entire SIS internal suite. The first link you will find will be from Microsoft and you can just follow this link or you can add download and uh, looks like it's the same link. You have two options here. You can download the entire suite or just a nano server. We want to use the entire suite, so you go with uh, the entire suite. Click here and you will be presented with an archive to download. Once you download the archive, I have extracted it here. Let me just show it to you. Or directly here. This is the archive and this is the actual extract and the contents of the archive. And the first tool we're going to play with is the access check tool. So to run the tool, you will need to run it in a command prompt. This is a command line tool. And when you're starting the command prompt, you should start it with an administrative privileges. So when you go to start CMD and just run as administrator. To have access to the tool, you need to change the folder to the folder where the tool is. Hit enter. And as you can see, we have a list of all these internal tools here. Now, you can run this tool in case of an incident response from a thumb drive. And it's actually advisable to run it from an internal, uh, external source. So keep that in mind when you're running it. You can run it from a F drive or E drive or something like that. So moving forward, when we are investigating an incident, sometimes uh, for example, we know of a compromised username or a user and it is helpful to know what access to the Windows resources this user have. And uh, the access check tool will help us actually find out to which files or folders or even uh, registry files or services, uh, registry keys or services that this user had access to. So. As I said, always run it as an administrator in order to get the full detailed information of the output. And we can start with some commands. So the following command that I'm going to show you reports the access that the power users account have to files and directories in Windows System32. So the command is pretty simple. You just use access check. And by the way, if you do dash H, it will give you a detailed help and you can go through it if you like. Uh, there are the options here and you can of course play with it. So for now we are going to use this access check, power users, and then we give the uh, directory we're interested in, Windows System32. Hit enter and this is the output which means that this is the list of uh, files and folders that the power users have access to in the system32. The next command that we are going to look at shows which Windows services members of the administrators group have write access to. And the command is as follows. Access check administrators minus c w asterisks when we hit enter this will be the uh, list of services that the administrator would have read and write access to and uh, let me just briefly give you some understanding on the parameters and the uh, here that we are argument that we are adding to the command minus c in combination with the asterisks will display all the services and minus W will only show us objects that the uh, actual administrators have right access to. So that's some sort of filtering. And you can also, as I said, find this information in the uh, help menu, uh, help 
information from the command tool. You can of course pipe this if this is too much information and you, you're unable to read it like this or you want to have it in a file. Uh, in many cases you would like to have that stored for later review. You can of course pipe this to a file and uh, in my case I'm going to redirect it to the desktop for uh, our easy review. services.txt and I have the file here. I'll just open it with uh, notepad and as you can see this is the list of services the same output that we had here we have it in a text of in a text file and we can review it later or add it as an evidence to our analysis and to our report so keep that in mind always make sure you pipe it of course pipe it to a file on your thumb drive not on the file on the file system that you're analyzing you don't want to temper any evidence so keep that in mind as well Okay, to see what registry keys under HKLM current user a specific account has access or no access to, we can use the following command. And this one will be for no access. So access check KNS. The account I'm looking for will be Pianko, which is the account I'm using on that machine. It is an administrative account, so HKLM software. When I hit enter, it's going to take some time and it's going to iterate the registries and provide me with the results. And that's a lot of information. So again, you can decide to pipe that to the desktop or to your thumb drive. I just piped it to a file called rex.txt. It will take some time to collect that information and put it into a file. So in the meantime, I can give you some information about the parameter here. Uh, minus K will be required to specify that we are working with the registry keys. Minus N will display only objects with no access. And finally, minus S will search recursively. As you can see, software will get to Microsoft Windows and so on and so on. So open that with Notepad. And we have a good detailed report with the information that the user doesn't have access to. So keep that in mind. Another thing uh, we can do with this uh, tool would be to see all files under uh, the user's directory that have an explicit integrity level. So uh, let me go through that and give you some, sh some detailed information. Minus E, minus S, and just use the user folder. When we run that, these are actually files that have an explicit integrity level. And uh, you can again pipe that to a actual file and have that reviewed uh, later. Uh, so keep that in mind. You have some additional mandatory, low mandatory level information here and things like that. Um, pretty much that's it. Uh, another thing you can use is actually you can use a uh, graphic user interface uh, tool which is um, access enum and this tool you need to run from the actual file explorer instead of running it from command line of course and this tool will give you similar information that the, the command line tool gives you but of course the command line tool has some benefits and mainly you can use that to script it you can actually create a script that's going to call the command line tool and uh, you can actually uh, add additional command line tools and run your script on this machine or on the machine you're analyzing and the script is going to compile all these commands and all these results into some sort of a report for you and you can later analyze you don't need to go through the uh, graphic user interface select menus options and things like that so this is the power of the command line tools they can be scripted easily so moving forward, let's just start the access enum and again run it as administrator, as I said. Okay, we have uh, here the opportunity to scan for um, registry and directory. So um, there is another thing that we can use here and it's really neat. Uh, for example, if we scan for directory, let's just say Let's just keep it Windows and just put scan. 
it's going to give us read write access to, to the Windows directory and it's going to go recursively. Um, but the other thing you can do, and it's really cool, again, you can do that with registry. Once you're done with this scan, you can save the results of the scan. Of course, that will be great for, uh, let's say, analysis in the future. You can review these results uh, when you're compiling your report again, you can add those results. But there is another thing you can do here. If you have a scan of the machine that you're analyzing previously of the infection, infection or the compromise, you can actually run a scan after it's being compromised and compare the results. And this is actually the tool that's providing you with this, this access. Let's just try to make it a little bit more detailed so that it will be faster to run. When I go to Windows, I want to scan the System32 driver folder, okay, drivers, and then just click OK, scan. This shouldn't take that long. Actually, I think it's finished. So uh, when you do that, you can save these results on the desktop and let's just say sorry clean state drivers txt and it's already there and then you can do another scan of that uh, of that folder uh, go to file compare to save and from the desktop i can uh, pull the previous scan that i did click ok and it's going to give me the differences in the security permissions here. So if I did some change here in drivers and if I added someone else's access to that folder, it's going to pop up here. So initially I do a baseline of the system and then I do a comparison to the results of it with a newer scan when the system is compromised. Again, we can do the same thing with the registry. We have access here uh, and you can, of course, uh, use that tool as you please. So. That's been the access checking tools and um, that's uh, the first video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.